it's Lana welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did these passion switches. I used three packs of 12 inch water wave in the colors 1B30. They took like a whole day but that's because I was kind of being like a perfectionist on them and I'm like <sighs> I, I just um I think they're gonna last about two weeks two two and a half weeks that's all i'm going to be keeping them in for um in this tutorial i use the method where you braid first i've tried it with crochet before and i kind of ended up liking braiding at the beginning better so that's what i did in this video the style is really lightweight well well <laughs> i mean it's pretty pretty lightweight i really like it i was debating like cutting the ends or not but I decided not to. You can secure it at the end with a rubber band. So I recommend getting some of those too because I started at the root by putting it in a rubber band and I started at the end by securing it with a rubber band. It's been really easy to move already. Like I can move the part around my head if I wanted to. Very versatile. Make sure you like and subscribe and enjoy the video. I'm gonna show you guys how I did my parting. I used this to define the parts and to slick the ends of the hair. So my mom parted the back of my hair for me, which made it like way easier to like have time to part. And I blow dried the back and just stretched the front of my hair. But I break it into two sections and make sure I have a really clean middle part because a lot of the times I like to have my hair in the middle part and then I start working on each side as a section in itself and breaking it into smaller sections which are the actual parts for the twist. Once I've used the comb to like break off the twist, I use the Style Factor um, edge control and kind of just slick it down and then I slick it up and then I place a rubber band around it. When I put the rubber band around it, I kind of pretend like it's a miniature ponytail and that kind of makes it easy to wrap it. Then in the front to get the crispest parts possible, I use the rat tail comb and comb the um, edge control in to make it lay as fat, flat as possible. So I start off by like stretching the hair out, trying to make it as fluffy as possible because I kind of wanted my twist to be like chunkier and less crinkly. Since the back of your hair is the hardest part to do, I'm gonna show you guys that. I just take the piece of hair and wrap it over the hair in the rubber band and then begin to braid. As I braid, I try and braid as tightly as possible and I braid about three to four times down before I try and split my hair. And in the back, I braid it a little bit more so that it stays a little better. And then I try and split my hair. After I split it, I bring it towards the front and begin to twist as normal. When I'm twisting them, I spin it and twist it at the same time. So I'm wrapping it around itself and wrapping it around the other piece of hair to get my desired look. And then when I get to the end, I take some more of the edge control and try and make my hair kind of straighter and slick so that it blends in with the passion hair better or the water wave hair better. And then I continue to twist as normal, making sure I'm really spinning so that I can kind of tuck my ends away as well. And when 
I get to the end of my hair, I like to put a rubber band on it because it kind of mixes up that they can stay better because I don't want them to unravel at all. I don't think anyone really wants their twist to unravel. And I think that these rubber bands, I mean, I kind of think they look cute a little bit, but they make it so that it's definitely staying. Like, Shoddy is secured. She is not going anywhere. And the little curls are preserved at the end. So once again, I fluff the hair out as much as possible to give it a juicy look while still kind of maintaining the passion look. I try and leave the ends as much as possible though. So I really just try and fluff the middle part and especially focusing on the part where my hair stops because the part where my hair is is thicker. So I try and make the part where my hair stops thick. Then I braid it in and split the hair in half and twist like it's a normal twist out or any type of twisting style you've ever done before. It's exactly the same. You're just going to want to make sure you're doing it as tight as possible and spinning as you do it. And then I put edge booster at the ends of my hair. I really, really like that edge control. Like, it's the best one I've ever used. <laughs> yeah, it's the best one I've ever used. And it really made my hair, like, straighter and blend with the um, additional hair a lot better. So I put that in and then continue to twist as normal. And I think this made a difference, but it may not have, but I didn't let go of my twist until I put the rubber band in it. So I held the twist until it was secure and then I let go. Okay, I don't know why it was silent. Oh, because I was doing a voiceover before. But thank you for watching. I'm about to put this move on because that's the best part um thanks for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe love lana